Turning now to the New York City Marathon, tens of thousands took part in the annual pilgrimage across the five boroughs on Sunday. There you go, <laughs> just like that. On your mark. Runners hit the streets simple. for a 26.2 mile trek so throughout the Big Apple. The, the a marathoner from Ethiopia the won the men's race, crossing the finish line in less than two hours and five minutes. On the women's side, a runner from Kenya ran away with the title, finishing the race in just under two hours and 28 minutes. And while he didn't win the race, one marathoner from Long Island still accomplished his goal. He raised more than $50,000 for a cause close to his heart. Here to tell us his story is Pat Callahan. Hi, Pat. Hi, how are you? Good. Thanks so much for being here. How are you, how are you feeling? A little sore. <laughs> a little sore. sore. <laughs> I would think so. All right, you took part in your first ever marathon to raise awareness and money for AEDs in schools. So tell us, out of all the causes you could have chosen, why that one? Well, uh, last year, my son collapsed during basketball practice, and he suffered what's known as a SCA, uh, sudden cardiac arrest. Mm. Uh, fortunately, he was in a gym that had two coaches and a trainer present, and more importantly, an AED. So these guys recognized the, you know, the gravity of the situation quickly. They grabbed the AED. They, you know, they detected that he had no pulse, no, he wasn't breathing, uh, and they uh, had multiple um, cycles of the AED, you know, between eight and ten minutes. He was, uh, you know, they, they did not have a pulse. They found, they got it, though. Wow, it totally saved his life. Saved his life. And now AEDs are required in every school in New York State, and they're easy enough for people to use, or they're supposed to be, that you don't need training. But your money will go toward more AEDs and, and formal training? Why? Yes, yeah, so how this kind of, uh, how this idea came about was, I ran into the a, the AD at Chaminade High School, and I, I was talking. I was like, I want to do something. I, I was running the New York City Half Marathon back in March. I was like, I want to do something. Maybe I was like, I can raise some money for yeah. the school or something. And he said, Nah, he's like, ah, don't worry about it. And then two months later, he's, you know, I get a call saying, Hey, guess what? You're doing New York City Marathon. You're raising some money for Chaminade. I was like, Okay, terrific. Great. And it really kind of just took a life of its own. But yeah, because of the success of this and, and the raise, you know, we are, you know, we've identified a number of schools, Shamanai's identified a number of schools, Catholic schools in Nassau and Suffolk County uh, that they will, uh, you know, provide, you know, AEDs for. Oh, that's amazing. All right. So much good work. Pat Callahan, New York City Marathon runner. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. For more information on how to donate to Pat's cause, just go to our website, CurrentsNY.tv. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.